Hey guys and welcome to this video on Salesforce. Today we're going to talk about SOQL or SOQL which stands for Salesforce Object Query Language. Now currently I'm in um, Salesforce Lightning. We can always click over here and go and switch to uh, Salesforce Classic if we want to. But I'm going to leave it the way it is. So we're going to do a query on a standard object. So what we can do is go over here to Quick Find and um, we can either right now have the tab object manager here but uh, we can just type in object and then we can click object manager and so now this will bring us to um, all of our objects that we currently have and you know the difference between a standard object and a custom object because custom objects have an API name with underscore underscore C you can see that here and you can see that here so these are my two custom objects I think I have more yeah, okay vehicle underscore underscore C um, and the other objects are standard objects so we're gonna be working with the account object um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to setup really quick so we can take a look inside of the account object and see what type of data we have there so I'm just gonna click on the app launcher and now we're gonna go to accounts under all items so you just see right here, it's all items if you're if it's not um, already open. And we're gonna click accounts. Okay, and right now it's under accounts recently viewed. We're gonna switch this to all accounts. Okay, now we get back a list of all of our accounts. And we're gonna do a query to only get a um uh, well to get the same list, but only a subset of these columns here. It might not be these exact columns, but uh, it will at least be some of these columns. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go back up to the top and click on this um, icon here. So that's our setup icon. And then I'm going to click on Developer Console. All right. So this opens up our Developer Console. And you can already see that I already created a query for this. Um, so let's go ahead and exit this and start from the very beginning. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is click this query editor tab here. And then it says enter SOQL or SOSL query and select column names from uh, whatever the object is. And then you can do some where clauses as well. So just by looking at this information here, um, I'm going to take the account name and I will take the, uh, maybe the account, maybe the phone numbers. So we need to go back to object manager and I want to see the API names of the fields for the account. So I'm going to click on the account and then I'll click on fields and relationships. All right. So now I get a list of the field names in the account. And we're looking for uh, account name. So account name is it's, it's API field, it's just name. Um, I want the phone number. Also, we can look at the data type uh, to see if we're getting um, the right data type. But it's called phone number, I believe. Ah, it's just called phone, actually. Okay, so phone, you can see the data type is a phone. So these are the APIs we want to work with. I'm going to open up our developer console again. Okay, let's go ahead and write this query. So we're going to select the um, account name, right? It was A C C O uh, U N T. No, I'm sorry. The I'm going to put this over to the side. The account name's API name was just name. Okay, so I could really just copy this here and then paste it right here. Okay, so that's our account name. Then we wanted the phone number, which was just phone. 
and it's not case sensitive. So um, you can see I did not make this capital, I didn't make this P a capital P. All right, and um, for fun, let's do the uh, account number here. So his API name is just account number. And maybe we want the site. So just put site. And let's see what else we have. Um, again, on the right here is the data type. So uh, let me see. Maybe I want the number of locations. So I'm just going to copy this field here. Okay, and then I gotta tell it, well actually, you know what, forget the number of locations. We're not gonna do that one. So I'm just gonna stop at site, and I'm gonna say from, and we're going to use account. So let's execute this query, this little button down here. And we can see that we get back 12 rows, just like what we saw um, before, except for this time, we get only a subset of that data. So we only got back the name that we queried for, the phone number that we queried for, the account number, and the site that we queried for. Okay? So that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know if you want me to put some more videos up on SOQL, Salesforce Object Query Language, and um, we can get a little bit dirtier um, maybe throw in a few more clauses actually before we go I, I will throw in a uh, um, where clause so let's say that we only want a subset of this data so I want all of that where my name um, where my name equals then you gotta put in quotes because it's a, a string that we're gonna be using and I only want that last um, row of data. So S capital F O R C E. All right, and let's execute that query. And that's all we get is that last row of data where our name is equal to S force. Okay, so now that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And um, please leave any questions you have, uh, comments, concerns. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.